Hi, this is Kristen Pedia with Sunshine Reviews free tutorial series. And in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss how to create an external link and then how to format references. The first step we're going to take is we're going to open up a new tab. You're going to see I'm already in the Contribute tab and that I have a blank text box to work with. Now, what you're going to also need for this exercise is a link to a news story. So I chose Mashable and a story about Twitter. So what we're going to do first is we're going to copy the entire URL. Make sure you include the HTTP as that's necessary for any MediaWiki software. Then I'm going to type out a single bracket. You're going to notice this is different than our internal links which need two brackets. And this one just used one. So I'm going to paste that in. Another difference between this and internal links is that instead of using a pipeline to separate link text from displayed text is that in this one you just need a space and this lets the program know that this is where the URL ends. Then we're going to type in our source, italicize, so I'm going to do two single apostrophes, I'm going to write mashable. I'm going to do a comma and then we're going to come over here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy the title and then I'm going to paste that in. Also, you're going to want to write the date that you accessed the article or that it was created. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and write October 21st, 2009. And I'm going to close that bracket. I can't emphasize enough, anything you open in a wiki, make sure you close. So when I go ahead and do Show Preview, you're going to see it comes out as Mashable, the title, and the source. Now a very common mistake for people that are new to wikis is they'll type out the single bracket, they'll copy and paste the URL, and then they'll close the bracket and they'll think that they're done. And what you'll see happens is just a big number one comes out. This is especially problematic when people try to incorporate these into paragraphs. I should let you know that you typically do not have external links within paragraphs you're going to want to reference them. You can use internal links like that, but never external. So we're going to go ahead and delete this. Don't do it. And we're going to go ahead and create a reference. Now for a reference, we would do something like, you can see here, Twitter's experiencing high error rates. So we'll just go ahead and write that out. Twitter experienced high error rates in late October of 2009. All right, so now we have our sample fact, and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to reference it. You can see I'm not just placing the external link within the sentence. So at the end of the sentence and after the period, we're going to go ahead and type out ref. This is the beginning of a reference command. And then we're going to go ahead, we're going to come up here, we're going to copy and paste the external link, and we're going to put it after that ref command. Now, we're going to need to close this. This is a very common mistake to forget this, so please don't. You're just going to type out a caret, a forward slash, and ref. And this will create all the references you need, just this basic formatting. I'm going to go ahead and click on Show Preview. And you're going to see that it pops up at the end is a small number one. You're also going to see that this site error pops up. And what that means is that you have no place for all the references and sources to be listed. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a section by doing two equal signs and writing out references. And then underneath that, we're going to need to write in this code. And this will draw all of those down into a list. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write out references, a forward slash, and I'm going to close the caret. This time when I do show preview, you're going to see that the external link works, you're going to see that it comes out as a footnote, you're going to see that footnote is pulled down into this section. Now, this is going to work no matter how many references you add. So for example, if I copied and pasted this, and maybe wrote another sample fact, and I use that source again, so I'm going to go ahead and just paste it, you're going to see that two of them will pop up in the list. So you don't need to do this every time you create a reference, just once in the article. So you're going to see it pops up as one, two, and then you can see that it pulls all the references down here. Now, 
you're going to also see that this formatting where it has two sources when really it's just one. This is bad form. So what we're going to do is manipulate the text so that we can reference the same source multiple times. To do that, we're going to come up here and visit our first ref tag. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to write out ref name and then an equal sign. And then after that, you're going to want to do a nickname for the article. For this one, I'm just going to do Mashable. Now, the second time that I want to use the source, all that I have to do is write out ref name equals Mashable. Make sure the formatting is the same because it is case and spelling sensitive. And then I'm going to do a forward slash and close it. So this time you'll see when I click on show preview, you'll see that they both say that they're coming from the same source. And that if you come down here, it shows that it's being referenced more than once in the article. Now, to show what I need to do next, we're going to go ahead and add another sample source. So this will be sample source 2. Now just for the example in this exercise, I'm going to go ahead and manipulate this reference so that it says it's going to something different. I'm going to take out the ref name, and instead of fail whale, I'm going to put in a new title just so you can tell the difference. Don't ever do this in an actual article. So I'm just going to write sample article 2 for this exercise. The reason that I'm doing this is because I want to show you that when you have a lot of references in one article, which is very common, you're going to see how the list can pile up. So a lot of times people will use this format in order to create two columns. You're going to do two curly Q braces, you're going to write out ref list, and then you're going to put in a pipeline. Again, that's that key right above your return key. Then you're going to do two for two columns, and you're going to close those curly braces. Now when I do show preview, you're going to see that it formats the list so that these all pop up in two columns. There's a lot of different ways you can format references, and if you'd like to know more about them, I'd advise you to join us for one of our Wednesday webinars. They're every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central Time. And if you found this tutorial useful, please consider donating to Sunshine Review in order to help us maintain this site. We have lots of other tutorials available, and I hope that you go on to enjoy them as well. Thank you.